Buenas noches. Anoche.
Good evening. Good evening. How are you Good today? Evening. Hello. Good night, teacher. Hello. Good night. What's new today? Good news. Buenas noches. How was your day? How are you feeling? Ready to begin the class? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Richard, ¿cómo está con el clima por ahí? Very cold. <laughs> It's freezing. Buenas noches. Okay, so let's begin. And I have the first question for you. How do you spend your day? Yeah, how do you spend your day, guys? What do you do every day? What do you mean when you say spend? What do you do every day? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you spend your day? That's the question, right? It's in this occasion, we're going to describe daily routines. So when the question says, hey, how do you spend your day? And then you describe, right, um, the, the routine, your daily routine. Spend. Work, work hard, very hard. All right. Mm -hmm. Spend means literally gastar, pasar. That's um, spend, right? The literal version in Spanish. But in this question, how do you spend your day? Um, ¿Qué haces durante el día? Right? How do you spend your day? That's the question. So, okay, let's... I don't know why. This is very slow. In this case, as you know, and you have seen or you have discussed this in the platform, <laughs> uh, you um you learned some vocabulary, some jobs, right? Um, there you have a uh, fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, lumberjack. 
what are some other jobs that you know? Do you remember in in level in the second level you practice some uh, jobs? Which ones do you remember? There you have some more. Uh -huh, but tell me, which jobs or occupations do you remember? I'm going to give you three more. Teacher, pilot, singer. What others do you remember? You're very quiet today. Police. Police officer, yes. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Nurse. Nurse. Doctor. Doctor. Athlete coach. Which one? Athlete. Athlete. Yes, athlete. Uh -huh. Yep. Lawyer. Lawyer. Okay. Engineer. Engineer. Good. Teacher. Teacher. And there you have chef. some some other salesperson, chef. Yes. Flight attendant, carpenter, receptionist, a nurse. Now, if I ask you, what does a salesperson do? <clears throat> what does a salesperson do? Uh huh. What does a salesperson do? For example, the chef cooks food. A chef cooks food. Okay. And a salesperson? Sells clothes. There you have a salesperson sells clothes. <clears throat> Another question. Where does a salesperson work? In a department store. In a department store. Okay, that's it. So, in, in this exercise, we are going to do this. You are going to tell me complete sentences. For example, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. What about the second, a chef? Cooks food in a restaurant. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Okay. A flight attendant. Paulina? Serves passenger uh, for an airplane. Okay, uh, a flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Yes, that's correct. Airline, airline. Good, thank you very much. A carpenter. What does a carpenter do? It could be carpenter build houses for a construction company. Yes, very good. A carpenter uh -huh, builds houses for a construction company. Yes. And a receptionist.
answer the phone in an office. Okay, yes, thank you. A receptionist answers the phone in an office. Yes. Yeah. And a nurse. Oh. Cares for patients. Oh, I don't know how do you say pacientes. Patients. Patients. Okay. Kate for patients in a hospital. Perfect. Thank you very much. A nurse. Um, también pudiera ser um angry patient. Angry. Angry. Un paciente enojado. Can be, can be, can be, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Um, I have here more jobs, and we have four categories we have office work, food service, travel industry, and entertainment business. Which ones can we categorize in office work? The first one is an example, company director. Another one? Receptionist. Yes, receptionist. Mm -hmm. Website Good. designer. Website designer. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Food service. We have server. Chef. Chef. Another one. Oops, I have here company director. Okay, but that was the example. Mm -hmm. Food service, we have server, chef, and can be a receptionist. You might be. Right in a food service, a cashier also. Oops, travel industry. I I, I didn't write the chef. Mm -hmm. Travel industry. We have flight attendant. Turquoise. Which one? Tour guide. Oh. Can be tour guide, pilot, mm -hmm. entertainment business, dancer, singer, singer, musician, singer. No more. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's vocabulary. In the first part, jobs, uh, places, and duties or actions. This one, vocabulary, jobs. Right now, let's practice this conversation. Where do you work? Where do you work? I'm, I'm going to ask some people here. Where do you work? Where do you work, Katia? No, no, just answer the question. Where do you work? Oh, okay. Um, I, I work um, as a tour guide. As a tour guide? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. And where do you work, Nidia? Nidia, where do you work? I am work in my home. At home, okay. At home. Cool. Herbert, where do you work? I work in a office. In a office? Yes, in a juridical office. Okay, perfect. 
Anna, where do you work? Uh, I don't know what you say, but communication agency. Okay, yes, that's good. Uh, let's see, Sarina, where do you work? No work, teacher. You don't work, you study. Yes. Where do you study? I study in Elitka, in the Ipka. Okay, cool. Okay, because that's what we are going to practice today, some uh, questions, WH questions. If you notice this um, level, en este módulo o nivel, es una, prácticamente un repaso de un nivel anterior, level two. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Jason and Andrea. I need two volunteers. Jason and Andrea. Who wants to be Jason? Volunteers? Jennifer? Okay. Next, Tatiana. Jennifer and Tatiana. Jennifer, Jason, Tatiana, Andrea. Okay. One, two, three. Where do you work, Andrea? Perdón, teacher, lo puede hacer más, un poquito más grande la imagen. Ok, give me a second. No, eh, no lo han descargado, porque a veces eh, igual a mí me, me, me... Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si... Porque a veces... Ok, thank you. Ok. <coughs> Con, de nuevo, coach. Yes, please. Ok. Eh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Kutz Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? And uh, will I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's great. Yes, it's great job. I love, I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Thank you very much. Sarina and Anna Cordova, please. Sarina, you are Jason, please. Where do you work, Andrea? Your microphone, microphone uh, Anna. Sorry, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take on people tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How oh, is interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job. So... Oh, where do you work? And a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Thank you. Hamburger Heaven. Uh, we're going to continue, but now I'm going to read it. Okay, the conversation and pay attention uh, for uh, pronunciation and intonation. Okay, pronunciation and intonation. Listen. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. 
Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. You see? Cool. And Katia and Antonio. Luis Antonio. Now, Luis, you are Jason. Katia, you are Andrea. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at, at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours of the country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, more volunteers. What's the difference, pronunciation and intonation? La entonación es respetando los signos. Y la pronunciación, pues, es cómo se pronuncia normalmente las palabras. Yeah, good. Yes, right. Because, yeah, pronunciación y la entonación es... Um, La música, ¿no? El ritmo, la entonación. Y si hay un signo, darle el, el énfasis del signo que tenemos. Question, admiration, ¿ok? Where do you work, Andrea? <coughs> mm -hmm. Or, hey, how interesting. Mm -hmm. Ok, eh, Herbert and Sonia. Herbert, Jason. Sonia. Andrea. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you know, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Nice. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Someone else? Medium. More boys. Gentlemen. Okay, girls. Another volunteer. This is your time, take advantage. Tiempo de práctica. Eh, comercial, no olviden, como ven, les han estado insistiendo con lo de la plataforma. Hay quienes que no están trabajando como deberían. Y recuerden, deben lograr 80%. En todo, ¿ok? Luego, en esta hora, sacarle provecho, ¿ok? Acá, conversaciones, ¿ok? Sacarle provecho eh, lo más posible, ¿no? 
el único chance que para el speaking, porque ahí la plataforma igual tiene ejercicios, tienen los videos, videos para escuchar, ver, eh, tienen los ejercicios para practicar, pero el speaking, la parte oral, es acá donde deberían de ponerla en práctica. Ok, so I guess Camila, right? Nidia and Camila. Eh, Nidia, you are Jason. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Tomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? And a guide, I take people on tours to countries in South American life, Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Perfect. I like it. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? No more. Uh, new words in the conversation, new vocabulary, comments, questions about pronunciation or intonation. Something that you don't understand very well. No problem. Okay, cool. Let's see. If you remember questions or WH questions, and do you remember the use of auxiliaries, do and does? And if you remember, we use does with he, she, it, right? And the rest we use do. And there you have the examples. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at or in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. And then, if you remember the rules, with he and she, we need an S in the verb. Um, he works, he takes, he studies, or she teaches, she does, she goes, she has. Do you remember this? ¿Se acuerdan que si lo vieron en otro nivel? Yes, yes, right. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Another practice. Leslie's, Leslie's day. Now it's a reading. And uh, do you remember? Somebody asked me, what, what does spend mean? The question, right? How do you spend your day? In this case, La pregunta podría decir, how does Leslie spend her day? Y ahí está toda la respuesta, todo ese párrafo. Um, I'm going to read first. So, again, you listen and pay attention, okay? After me, some volunteers are going to read. 
okay? Listen, Leslie is an ESO teacher at Hackney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. I'm going to porque este si no lo tienen. Um, traten de imprimir el manual, así lo tienen ahí, ok, para que lo vayan eh, leyendo, viendo. Y de hecho, resolver los ejercicios. I'm going to repeat. Leslie is an years old teacher at Hackney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30. And she starts work at 9 o'clock. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at 5 o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after-school club. She usually has dinner at about 7 o'clock. And then... She has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed about, at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. That's it. New words, new vocabulary in this paragraph. Okay, in this case, more practice. Tal vez los demás se animan a leer. Two volunteers. I have, I'm going to divide two short paragraphs. Okay? So, two volunteers. Luis Antonio is the first one. Thank you very much. The second, Anna. The first two. And, and then we continue. Okay? Uh, okay, Luis, the first paragraph. Uh, Leslie is an SL teacher at Hackney Honey College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at nine o'clock. Perfect. Very good. Anna. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks up, pick up her daughter from her, her after school club. She usually have has diner dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee in the evening she watches television or something or sometimes she listens to the radio she likes listen to music she usually goes to bed at about a, a 11 30 then she reads her book for about half an hour, she goes to sleep at midnight. That was great. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Tatiana, 
and Rosa. Tatiana, the first one, the first paragraph, and then Rosa. Go ahead, uh, Tatiana. Leslie is an ESOL teacher at Hatney College in London on weekdays. She always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After bre breakfast, she brushes, br brushes her teeth in head dresses and then the, she, she take her daughter to a school. She goes to college by bus bicycle at 8.30 and she start work at 9 o'clock. Very good, Tatiana. College. Mm -hmm. College. College. Nice. Okay. Uh, next, please. About, about one study, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some food in her office. She finished work at five o'clock and pick up her daughter from her after school call. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the in the evening, she watches television, or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about eleven thirty, and she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleeping at midnight. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Cup of coffee. Delicious. A cup of coffee. Uh, Paulina, please, and Sonia. Leslie is an ESOL teacher at Hackney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at 7 o'clock, about 7 o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed and then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock. At Great. about 1.30, she usually uh has lunch. Okay, no. hold on. <laughs> she okay. has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and picks and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner about seven o'clock and then she has up she has a cup of coffee. In the evening she watches television or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed about 11.30. Then she reads her book about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Nice. Thank you, Paulina. That was good. Uh, Tonya. Leslie is an ESOL teacher and Hank, Hank Cagney College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up up at, at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets Dessert, and then she takes her daughter to school. 
he goes to college by bicycle in a city and she starts work at nine o'clock. Nice, thank you very much. Uh, Hazel. At about one thirty, she usually has lunch. He has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finished work at five o'clock and picks up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television or something. She listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to the bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book from about half an hour. She goes to the sleep at midnight. Thank you. Great. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on some specific words. Uh, for example, college, 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 mm, daughter, 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 brushes, teeth, bicycle, Another one, it, she finishes. Try to remember the third person singular, right? We pronounce a uh, she brushes, she finishes. Okay. And cup of coffee. She has a cup of coffee, cup of coffee, cup, cup of coffee. In the evening, in the evening, she watches television. She listens to the radio, Re radio, mm -hmm. usually, usually, this one half an hour. Uh, then she reads her book for about half an hour, half an hour. Okay, now, because we're practicing this. Right? Questions, give me a second. Now, try to remember. Try to remember about, give me a second. Just a little bit. What does, okay, try to remember the information. What does Leslie do? She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Great. Where does she work? In a college in England. In All right. London. Okay, cool. And what time does she get up on weekdays? Get up seven at about seven o'clock. That's great. Who does she eat breakfast with? With her, with her husband and daughter. Husband and daughter. Great. What does she do after breakfast? Get um brush. This uh, oh, the teeth, brushes okay. the teeth. Okay, okay, yep. Brushes her teeth and gets dressed. How does she get to work? On a bike. Bicycle. All right, yep. And what time does she start work? At nine. 
at 9 a.m. Okay. And what does she eat for lunch? Oh, she got sandwich, fruit, one yeah. dirty. That's correct. Sandwich and fruit. What time does she have dinner? Seven. Seven, Seven p.m. Okay. Seven. Yep. After what? dinner. Okay. Uh -huh. what, what does she do after dinner? Want a, co a coffee. No recuerdo. Para recuerdo a su hija, pero que She drinks coffee. Ah, toma una taza de café. <clears throat> Watches TV. Watches television or listens to the radio. And what time? se toma una taza de café? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yes. Um, and what time does um, she go to bed? Television. At midnight. At midnight. After the bed, I read the book. Eleven thirty. Aha. Eleven thirty or midnight. 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 Are you midnight. sure? Yes, midnight. Go to bed. Uh, 11 30 okay um, 11 <laughs> sleep uh, midnight perfect yes uh huh she goes to bed at 11:30 and she reads a book and she goes to sleep because it's different she goes to sleep at midnight yeah good oops that was good. 11.30. She goes to bed at 11.30, right? But she sleeps at midnight. And if you notice, okay, that's what we are practicing. Questions. Now, in this case, we're going to, oh, we are talking about Leslie, right? Now, I want... Um, let's see. Yes, one, two volunteers. I need two volunteers right now because you are going to, do you remember? We're going to repeat the same activity. You are going to interview me. De nuevo me van a entrevistar usando esas preguntas. Las que están ahí, justo esas. Acá lo único que vamos a hacer es cambiar, ¿no? Cambiamos el sujeto, ya no, de, ya no vamos a hablar de Leslie, sino vamos a hablar de, de, de mi rutina. Entonces, obviamente, la pregunta va a cambiar. Del does al what do you do, teacher? ¿Ok? Así lo vamos a hacer. So, two volunteers, y se van a dividir las preguntas. I don't know. There are 11, I guess. The first five questions. Five and five. Se van a dividir. Five and five. Uh, Hazel, there was another volunteer. I don't remember who. Hazel, the first five. Who was the, the other one? Okay, Luis. Uh, okay, Tatiana. Okay, divide the, the group of questions. And... Si tienen otro, otra pregunta que no aparece ahí, pues igual pueden hacerla de nuevo, ¿no? A repetir aquella entrevista. Pero hoy hablando de rutinas diarias. Let's begin. Hazel. Uh, Hazel. What do you do, teacher? I am a teacher. I teach English. Where do you work? I work in Santa Ana. At a university. I work in a university. What time you do get up on the weekdays? I get up at 4.30. Every day. Do you eat breakfast with? With 
my friend, a friend of mine. Uh, what do you do after breakfast? I go to work. I I work <laughs> in yes, I work in my in the office at work with a friend. And after breakfast, I go to the classroom. Mm, Luis, right? Yes, the, the rest. Thank you, Hazel. The rest of the questions. How do you get to work? I take the bus. And what time do you do you start work? At 6.45. What do you eat for lunch? It depends, rice, vegetables, soups. What time do you have dinner? At 10.30 p.m. What do you do after dinner? I go to my bed immediately. What time do you go to bed? Um, 11 sometimes. Okay, uh, some other questions. Thank you, Luis. Some other questions about routines? Now try, try to create more questions. What times do you brush your teeth? Like a quarter to, to 11. What time do you exercise? I exercise on weekends, on Sundays, okay. in the afternoon, sometimes in the morning. Uh, how many cups of coffee do you drink at, at one day? Wow. Ten. <laughs> yeah, I guess. See no más. Aha, another question. It's well, a lot of coffee. A lot. <laughs> yes. Uh, someone. Where do you usually go to eat lunch? Again, please. What? My microphone. Where do you usually go to eat lunch? Oh, in my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I go to a restaurant, but mostly in my house. Next. What time do you take the shower? In the morning, immediately at 4.30. At 4.30, I open my eyes and I go directly to the shower, 4.30. With hot water? De la pila. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing, very cold. Pero ahí termina de despertar. <clears throat> Another, the last one. One more question. Yeah. What do you do on Friday when you don't teach us English classes? Uh, well, I go to bed <laughs> because I mean, um, I work 
I, I teach other classes before you. I have some other classes before you. I start teaching at 5 p.m. And then I finish and I, I start with you. And after you, I have another class. So on Fridays, I finish at 7, at 7 30. And then I have my dinner and I go to bed. Okay, the attendance because five minutes. Let's see. Alma Patricia Rivas. Presente. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe Córdoba. Thank you. Bye. Ana Lisset Avalos. No. Camila Lisset Casun. Present teacher. Cristiana Alberto Sarco. Present teacher. Diana Beatriz Roldán. Doris Emilia Alfaro. Present teacher. Estela Marisol Vázquez. Presente. Eva Alicia Constanza. Griselda de la Paz. Herbert Gerardo Ayala. I'm here. Hazel Nayeli Morales. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo. Present coach. Jose David Rodriguez. Jose Luis Escobar. Presente. Joshua Fabricio. Here, teacher. You, Carla Patricia Castillo. Here, teacher. Katia Veronica Gómez. Present, teacher. Liliana Laura Teresa. Present, teacher. Hello. Luis Alberto Mejiva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Antonio Ortiz. Present, teacher. Nidia Chamilex Calero. Present, teacher. Nuria Mayeli Montoya. Oswaldo Stanley Morales. <laughs> Paulina Viñas. Present teacher. No. Rosa Irma Flores. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Coreas. Sarina Susana Galvez. Present teacher. Sonia Dolores Rosales. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Tatiana Maria Hernandez. Present, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Announcements. Mr. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, I can hear my name. Okay. Yeah. But I, 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 I could see you. Okay. Yeah. I noticed. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Please. Don't forget um, to work on the platform, okay? And, well, the attendance, right, to be here at 8. We finish right now at 9. But remember, I mean, try to practice, right? I mean, this is, we have only one hour every day. One hour. Creo que es de sacarle provecho a los 60 minutos a la hora. Ok. Con las conversaciones, eh, lecturas, porque es, es la parte, creo que más importante, el speaking. Porque si no, van, van a aparecer los memes, ¿verdad? 
¿Qué tal de inglés? Ah, lo leo, lo entiendo, ah, pero no lo hablo. Okay. We, we need to practice, right? A little bit, a little bit, okay? Or practicing short questions, right? That's something that we need to do. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Have a good night and I will see you on Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good noches. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good night. Good night a todos. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.